Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Right, so I'm busy gearing up, uh, or we're busy gearing up to launch the next Tate World map, which will be the toy shop, which should be very, very shortly. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be making a couple of videos this week just to kind of show you some of the deeper mechanics behind it. So the first thing that you will see is that we are kind of using a custom resource pack. Now, um, normally it would not be a problem because we embed these resource packs in the actual map itself however we have optimized this map to be multiplayer friendly so we're actually encouraging people to play it in like up to four players to play in this map um okay so that causes issues when we are dealing with um uh, servers okay so when servers uh servers don't automatically download the uh, resource pack it, it prompts you and things like that so what we've done is i've actually built in a little check so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go and remove my resource pack okay just so you can see what this looks like without the resource pack okay so i've just removed the resource pack so when you start you actually end up in this little green room so the moment you log on you end up in this little white white room now you'll see uh all right at the moment, I am actually in Minecraft 1.8.3. So you'll see I've got a little rotating prismarine, uh, dark prismarine block, and it says, what am I? Now, I am not an airplane. Okay, I'm not an airplane. Uh, I'm a dark greenish block. Okay, sure. And I've got her. Okay, now the her just says, uh, can't see the rotating block. To play this map, you need to be in Minecraft 1.8.3. Please upgrade your game client. You also need to ensure you are running the Toy Shop texture pack. Okay, so that's what the herd does. The herd just checks, checks to see if you are actually in 1.8. Or uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you when I go into 1.7. Okay, so I've got this rotating block. Now, all this rotating block is, if I go into uh, game mode 3... As you can see, it's just a named armor stand that I'm rotating. That's all it is. Okay, very, very straightforward, very, very simple. Okay. In one point, uh, so in 1.7, armor stands didn't exist and you didn't have floating text, so you won't see this at all. So I'm not seeing an airplane. I'm actually seeing a dark greenish block. So if I hit this button, you'll see it says, please download resource back. Check the chat for link. Now, if I check the chat, it says here, this map requires the use of a texture pack. Please download it here. Now, if you actually click on this, it will actually, you can copy the link to your clipboard. Uh, or you can say yes. This will actually open up a web browser and allow you to download that from Dropbox. Now, uh, that link at the moment is still not the final link, um, but it's just to show you. So you can actually get somebody to actually download, uh, you know, download it and then have everybody install it. So let's just say I did actually download it and I did install it. I then just activate it. Okay. And, um, okay, done. Suddenly you will see things look a lot different. So um, the common people, <clears throat> Adam Clark, actually retextured that block for me and he created this awesome little airplane, which is used in the game. Okay, so now I say, is this a dark greenish block? No, this is an airplane. So that means that if I see an airplane, I am in Minecraft 1.8, Okay, and I am running the correct texture pack. So that means I can actually now go on, on and play the game. Once I hit that, you will see I am back where we started and this is how the whole game starts. Now, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Okay, so that was very, very basic, simple mechanics. Um, oh yes, you wanted me to show you what it looks like in 1.7. So let's really have a look at 1.7. Okay, so now I'm in 1.7.2, well, 1.7. When I go to single player, if I now go to toy shop and make sure it's the right one, uh, you will see here I am. Now, immediately you will notice that I cannot actually see, well, I've got speed on. I don't know why I've got speed on. Um, you cannot actually see, for one, the, the, the buttons no longer actually is on the top of the block and they will just pop off if I come anywhere close to them. Okay, um, oopsie, and you can see I can't actually click them. They are not clickable. Uh, and you'll see that the, the text is kind of looking weird with little quotation marks. And um, But, however, the her button is actually still working. So if I now hit the her button, you will see it still plays um, the actual, uh, the, the towel raw, uh, even though it's got little weird signs, but uh, it still actually works. And it just tells me that I need to update my game client. Oh, that's interesting. Um, and yeah, 
So that is what this will look like in 1.7. So you now know that you need to actually upgrade it and uh, yeah, get your game client into 1.8 to actually play this map. Cool. So I hope you guys will enjoy this map when it's out. It's going to be quite different. Uh, I'm going to be making a few videos on this map this week, probably one, one a day up until the launch of this actual map. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.